When a car company like Volkswagen wants to sell more cars, they can do a few things. They can lower the cost of a car so that more people can afford it, or you can improve the car so that more people want to buy it, or you can use a secret third way that will force people to buy your cars and you won't have to do anything and it will make people think that you care about children's health. I think clean air is a human right, not a privilege. Sadiq Khan's plan to deliver this is ULES, the ultra-low emission zone. Volkswagen just spent something like 100 billion updating all their factories so that they can produce electric cars and vans. Volkswagen borrowed so much money, they have more debt than any public company. And now that the rich have bought the first wave of cars that come off the factory floor, they need to look for ways to encourage everyone else to sell their old cars and update with the new Volkswagen electric vehicle. ULEZ policy was first bought in by Boris Johnson, then it was later expanded by Sadiq Khan, and that is why everyone is so upset right now. The original ULEZ zone was much smaller. Announced by the Mayor of London, Boris Johnson, in 2015, coming into operation under Sadiq Khan in 2020. But pushing out the boundaries of the zone to cover the entire capital was more controversial. A few people have been vandalising these cameras. Now, today, the Met Police said there have been 510 crimes regarding ULEZ cameras since April. 159 reports of cameras being stolen and 351 of cameras being damaged. However, I've seen something like 500 vandalizations in the statistics. There are 2,000 cameras in Greater London, and once I get into why these cameras exist, you'll understand that this will be a drop in the ocean as to what their actual motivations are. If you are looking for the real beginning of ULEZ, it started back in 2006 when Barack Obama introduced a scrappage fee for cars in America. Government can and should help the car makers. How? I know. Let's destroy some cars. Does this make sense? Sure, it'll stimulate the auto business. That was the idea behind Cash for Clunkers. Cash for Clunkers, you will pass Cash for Clunkers. This scheme was even more barefaced. They just came out and fucking said it. They said this was to boost the automotive industry. That program was good for automakers. It was good for consumers. But good for the suppliers. It is good for workers. It would stimulate the economy. I think today this sort of policy would get any politician thrown out, which is why they now say it's for public health, which is genius. They can expand on that any which way they like. And of course, they've only covered a tiny zone, so they don't even need to update their reason. All they need to do is just keep expanding the territory. It will not be long before this policy reaches Brighton, I'm sure of it. So the big health thing that this is supposedly going to deal with is 4,000 excess deaths in Greater London versus Central London. Why? Because every year across our city, roughly speaking, 4,000 people die prematurely. That's a reference to this report by Imperial College London. It was commissioned by the mayor and it estimated that in 2019, the equivalent of around 4,000 deaths in London could be attributed to air pollution. This calculation hasn't been repeated for the years since. Of course, this excess deaths is brought up in the mayor's own report. The report that led to ULEZ, the mayor of London commissioned himself. So this information that has led to this decision has come from inside the government. And until someone applies for Freedom of Information Act and gets the information as to where the mayor of London got this funding from, there's no way to know exactly who funded this research, which is crucially important to trusting its legitimacy. This is just another example of how governments kind of act like private organisations that are inherently self-interested. There is no party that has your self-interest at heart, which is why we should be concerned about growing centralised power. This was a policy that was invented by Democrats, then rewrapped by Conservatives and now expanded upon by Labour. But make no mistake, it's the exact same thinking behind the policy. To be fair, Boris Johnson now claims to be against you, Les, but he invented it. He must have known that this was going to be expanded upon at some point. Make no mistake, he would have done the exact same thing. Boris Johnson is just doing what he perceives to be his job, which is saying the opposite of whatever Sadiq Khan says. Nothing to do with air quality, everything to do with Mayor Khan's, the Labour Mayor Khan's bankrupt finances. The mayor's finances aren't bankrupt, nor a transport for London's. He must love how badly this is going for Sadiq Khan because he'll be using this aggressively in order to get into Parliament, in which point he will probably allow ULES to continue saying that it's gotten too big to close down, or he'll change it in some way that will imply that he's made it better. 
I'm so confident on this that this will be my prediction for the future. In 10 years time, they will be saying that they have to get rid of old electric cars because the older electric cars consume too much energy and these new, better batteries that they've just invented, these are the ones that should be on all the roads and these are the ones that are best for our children's future. And so ULEZ will be used in order to scrap old electric cars in the future. It's a constant thing to try and keep us continuously buying new vehicles. And every single time we'll be like, oh, we just, it's just updating 1% of the cars, 2% of the cars, this only affects a tiny portion of people, but it's thousands and thousands of car sales extra a year that they would not have gotten without ULEZ. Why is it good to destroy usable stuff? Well, yes, cars that were taken off the road were still drivable, uh, but at the same time, they're not leading America forward. You look at a couple of cars like this that you would never think these are gonna be Casper Clunker cars. You know, I hate to crush some of them. Some of them are better than what I drive sometimes. Okay, that's all from me. Gonna have a cup of tea. Goodbye.